It's day one of the Big Data Conference here at Stanford, and I'm here with David Glazer, who's the head of Google Genomics. David just presented. David, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. So, most people didn't even know that Google had a genomics branch. Can you tell me a little bit about what you guys do and why it's so important? Yeah. Um, when, when we back off and look at what is Google fundamentally good at, we're good at finding the value in large amounts of information. And that started with search, it's extended to Gmail, it's extended to, extended to YouTube, anywhere where there's a lot of information. We've spent 15 years really building up the tools, the expertise, the know-how to find value in that information. And a couple of years ago, when I was looking for my next project to work on at Google, I realized, discovered, talked to people in the field, that there was about to be a huge amount of of new information that was incredibly important to human life, human health, and it needed tools to find the value in that information. So the idea was, a couple of years ago when we started this team, that we could take what we Google were already good at, apply it to this new realm of data, this new kind of information, and really make a difference. And it's been exciting to watch that play out. What do you think the next big thing in genomics is? I think it's we're really at the beginning of moving from a world where because of that plummeting cost of sequencing, in the past, genomics has really been an artisan scale endeavor, where individual labs with experts in the field have been able to take small populations, order of tens to maybe hundreds, and do studies on them with great tools, great understanding, but very kind of handcrafted. We are right on the cusp of moving to a world of factory scale genomics. And factory scale genomics, as in factory scale anything, is fundamentally different. You're starting to work at the level of big data, premise of this conference. You're starting to really be able to find the patterns across it if you have the tools that can scale with the data, which exist, let's, let's bring them together. And that's what's going to be next, is finding the, the hidden insights that are sitting in the information if you know how to listen to it. And getting back to the conference here, the Big Data Conference, so now as an attendee, what are you most excited to see? What are you most excited to learn about here? It's the things I haven't heard of. It's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's what's new this year. It's who's, who's been pushing the edge. I mean, this morning, the, uh, the, the talk on the genomics panel about looking at the time and space fine-grained development of colorectal tumors. That's fascinating, and that's something that was impossible when sequencing was more expensive, barely possible at today's price, and is going to be routine. That's a taste of the future, and I love those tastes of the future. Well, thank you so much, David. We really appreciate it. At Big Data, this is Marion Shapiro.